The impact of New Mexico's new marijuana legalization on Texas. Monica Madden takes a closer look at where the laws in Texas could be headed. These lines outside a new dispensary in Las Cruces paled in comparison to how long folks there waited for New Mexico to legalize marijuana. Nobody ever thought this would this day would come. A milestone that we've all been waiting for. For some Texans near the state line, access to legal marijuana could be just minutes away. Local law enforcement in El Paso warn possession in our state is still a crime. Do whatever you will with it in New Mexico but just don't bring it back into Texas. Anything over four ounces in Texas is a felony, which could put folks behind bars for at least two years. During last legislative session, the House did pass a bill that would decrease penalties for marijuana possession. However, it never made it to the governor's desk. Over on the Senate side of things, bills to expand marijuana access have had less luck. With little support from Senate President, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. When this legislation ends up going over to the Senate, uh, the Lieutenant Governor prevents it from advancing. A vast majority of Texans want to see these laws change. Legalization advocates are instead looking to the governor in hopes of progress on decreasing penalties. Small possession of marijuana uh, is not the type of uh, uh, violation that we want to stockpile jails with. But advocates hope as surrounding states and the federal government look to legalize, Texas will feel the pressure to follow. We have lagged behind the will of the voters. I hope that we can catch up in this next session. We have more on this issue right now at KXAN.com.